Welcome back to the second tutorial on drawing our Google Cardboard using isometric paper. Now in front of me today I've brought with me a prototype of my Google Cardboard and you can see this has just been constructed using some bottle caps over the front and the front flap here is where your phone would slot inside and you can see through the viewer over there. Now for our drawing we're going to first of all draw the top, the side and the side. So there's three sides in isometric drawing top and the front and um, that side bit there and you can see at the moment we have just created in our previous lesson the cuboid of this shape again if you measure this it should be the same measurements as it here this measurement here should be the same measurement there which is 70 and this measurement down here is the same measurement which is 80 mils I'm going to pop that to one side now and show you how we're going to create some of our curved forms amongst this grid shape the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to add in the curved section at the back which is this bit here. Okay, I'm going to take it 1 or 10 mils in here and I'm going to take it 10 mils in there. And then I'm going to do a gradual curve, 1, 2, 3 and over here. So I'm going to take it from there to there and gradually curve my line so it goes through here and through here. Now crating is a method used by many designers just so that they've got the idea of the size it's going to be and they can work within that to create some curved forms. Again from here I'm going to take it one, two, three and then one, two across this time just to set it on a more of a bending curve and that's going to connect up like that. Now when I'm doing my curves I'm trying to be quite careful, I do want them neat and precise so I might have to rub that out and just redraw it later, but for the moment just sketching in. Straight across there and hopefully that gives the impression of the top of our Google Cardboard base which is up on here. I'm also trying to now give the impression of the lid coming over. So I'm going to do this coming over the side here, I'm going to take this up and through to there and then round and round. And on this other side, at the top, I'm going to take it up to here. You'll notice on my Google Cardboard there's a slight indent, so I'm trying to capture that with my particular work here today. So I'm going to take that one, two, it's going to curve over there. And I'm going to take that in slightly and round. And again, I'm going to connect that point and that point there to give the impression that this is a flap where the idea is that the phone goes inside it. There are a few lines now that I need to get rid of. Now this one over here, because it's now obscured, as you can see by the flap, it's also going to be obscured on here. So to represent that in drawing, we do a dotted line. So I'll pop that on there and you'll see some more of these dotted lines as we go about. I've also noticed that because I've cut this away and because that won't exist shortly, this will expose this line here. So again, taking a ruler, I'm going to mark this down here. Again, that's the inside of the shape. Also, there's going to be some hidden lines visible inside this. If you take a look at the Google Cardboard, underneath here is meant to be a Velcro fastener, which will then secure the box together and hold your phone nice and tight. So I'm going to give the impression of that on this particular drawing. I'm going to go one, two, three, four down, and it's going to be around about here, and it's going to be about one, two, three, four, about five boxes long. Because this is hidden and under the flap, all of this that I draw now will be dotted. So I'm going to take my dotted line and mark that in. It's got a slightly beveled edge to it, beveled which is a curve to the edge. Pop that in and there I have my Velcro fastener. Other hidden lines are going to be down here and down here as we talk about this as a 3D shape. So we know with isometric drawing we can see all three sides but by doing our hidden lines we can give the impression that originally this would have had four sides it's more 3D, it's more in a, a three-dimensional position. So I'm going to add in that dotted line again from there and I'm going to meet that up over here and I'm going to take that point up, it's going to go right through everything. Remember it's still dotted, so that means this is a hidden line. If it was a permanent line, it would be solid. This one over here is going to come down, and again I'm going to mark that out with a dotted line as it comes down. And the same over here, this one comes down and with a dotted line, just to show how that would then curve in round there and round there. So that now concludes our dimensioning 
our lines and our hidden lines. In the next tutorial, I'm going to touch you a little bit more about labeling some of the features and completing a bill of materials.